India reached Mars. Many in the Western colonial criminal states couldn't quite digest that. India reached the moon. Again, many, particularly in the Western world, couldn't digest that either. Now, India is interested in hosting the 2036 Olympics. And once again, many Europeans are using absolutely unacceptable words against India. So India hosted the International Olympic Committee session for the second time after a gap of about 40 years. And this is where the Prime Minister of India said that India is keen to host Olympics in the country during his keynote address. But it is quite obvious that India is not the only country that wants to host the 2036 Olympics. As reported here, Indonesia and my country, Poland, have also expressed interest in hosting the 2036 Olympics. The story covering Modi's comments regarding the Olympics was published in the European media. And of course, in Poland, the media reported India's interest in hosting the 2036 Olympics as well. Want to know how people in Poland reacted to that? Well, go through these comments. Let me translate some of them for you. This one, over here. <laughs> it seems they started training. Certainly, this post doesn't seem to be in good taste. Is the person who posted this trying to insinuate that Indians are too old to compete? Well, India has one of the youngest populations in the world. On the other hand, many countries in the West have aging populations. And anyway, why mock them? There is absolutely nothing wrong with the elderly being fit and into sports. Now, see this comment. <laughs> so it will be possible to poo and pee anywhere in the Olympic village. And this one. Kayaking will be held in sewage or at Poo River. And this post. Oh yeah, the Olympics in poo and trash. And read this. It seems that the new game will be fastest pooping on the street or throwing a truck full of trash to the Ganga River. And now, see this picture. That's how these people view India. These are just a few examples. There are many more comments and I cannot even mention them here. Some of these netizens are probably just brainwashed victims of years of Western propaganda, filling their hearts with hatred against India and Indians. And let me tell you, in Poland, under various news articles or posts related to India, one can easily see such hateful comments. This is a well-established pattern. So to start with, as far as swimming in the poop water is concerned, many Europeans have done it in the European Union. And guess what? Not only did they swim in water with poop, but they also did it with a smile on their face. For example, Denmark was caught releasing billions of liters of wastewater, including raw sewage, into the Oresund Strait, where many go to swim. Many Europeans have been swimming in sewage for decades, knowingly or unknowingly. As reported here, tourists on several European coasts are swimming in raw sewage. As reported here, enough sewage to fill three Olympic-sized swimming pools, some 7.5 million liters, is pouring into Irish seas and rivers every day. I mean, just take a look at this map. Raw sewage dumping all over Ireland in a so-called advanced country. But would these Europeans mock Ireland and connect it with poop if it was to host the Olympics? Probably not. But why do they mock India? Because comments like these against India seem to be nothing but Europeans' deep-seated racial or religious superiority complex. And by the way, swimming in water with poop in Europe is more common than you think. See this, sewage dumping into English rivers is widespread. The UK dumping raw sewage in the channel. Then Belgium's cocktail of waterways and sewage. I mean, that's the country where our European Parliament is. And the USA. Sewage pouring into rivers and streams. Millions of Americans getting sick every year because of this. Take a look at this image. As far as the practice of pooping or peeing on streets in the so-called advanced countries is concerned, consider this. That's Germany in 2023. A man doing it openly on a highway. Happened right in front of our car. In London, to stop people from urinating in public, they had to paint their wall with anti-pee paint. San Francisco covered in human feces. Someone even created a San Francisco poop map. I mean, Polish people won't complain about poop if San Francisco was hosting the Olympics in 2036, right? And this. More than 130,000 poop sightings and counting, it was even declared the street poop capital of America. And then drunk people urinating or pooping on streets after partying or visiting sports stadiums. <laughs> that is a common sight in the Western world. As far as personal hygiene or foul smells are concerned, my husband, who is from India, went through severe culture shock in the Western world. For example, he asked me, why so many people in the West do not brush their teeth before having breakfast? He asked me, why do many in the West blow their nose in a tissue paper sitting next to you while you are eating? 
he asked me. Why in many European homes do people serve dishes that are kept uncovered on a dining table, then also start drinking, talking and laughing, facing the uncovered dishes, unwillingly spitting their saliva in the dishes, and then everybody eats from those dishes later? He asked me why in the Western world are people still wiping it off in the toilet, even though it has been observed that using toilet paper is not hygienic. I mean, after all, Westerners are still learning that water can be used to clean their... <coughs> Instead of mocking India and Indians, these Polish people should be grateful to Indians. They should be grateful to Indian soldiers for coming to Europe and saving Europeans by sacrificing their own lives during World War II while fighting Nazism and Fascism, which are products of Western civilization. They should remain grateful to those two Indian Maharajas who saved the lives of many Polish women and children and sheltered them in India. It is a shame that many Poles have no clue about that. And finally, Poles should understand that when $45 trillion was looted from India and brought to Europe, it didn't just bring prosperity to Britain. Through indirect means and through trade, commerce or remittance, prosperity in Britain brought wealth to other parts of Europe too, including Poland. So it is shameful that Europeans are laughing at their victims. This is not normal. This is a criminal mentality. It is called victim shaming. The reality is that India is an emerging superpower and many Western countries are desperately lining up to get a chunk from India's enormous growth story. Whether India needs the Olympics or not, it is likely that Olympics will need India. But not everything about the Olympics and the IOC is good. I highly recommend that you watch this research-based episode that I posted earlier. Many in Poland do not even want their own country to host Olympics. They do not think it is profitable or beneficial to their country. That is why some even want India's bid to be successful. As far as India's toilet infrastructure and river cleaning are concerned, the country has been investing a lot of money and resources and has seen tremendous progress in various aspects. India's $45 trillion that Europeans looted to get richer was never given back to India, and the European criminals who looted that were never properly punished. But despite that, India has shown the world its resilience. It has shown the world that it has the ability to reclaim its rightful position in the world. Citizens of Poland, remember, this is India's century. The future doesn't just belong to India. The future is India. See you again.